Hey there, welcome to another episode of Mondane Designs. I'm your host, Mondane. This video is part of my collection series, and today we're going to be talking about the Xbox original games in my collection. All right, so here's the original Xbox collection. First up, we're going to go with this uh, Xbox magazine. Um, they actually were nice enough to, like, you know, give the sleeve and they and uh, this uh, insert and stuff was also with it. Um, I don't think I have the magazine anymore, but this is uh, game disc number seven, and uh, I decided why not uh, just cap it. Um, here is a burn game. It is a Japanese shooter. I cannot recall what the name is, but uh, I've TSOP flashed all of my original Xboxes. Thankfully so, because both hard drives died really quickly, and uh, one of them, the optical drive, is dead. So here we have Air Force Delta Storm, and this is a real copy. Uh, all of my burns and stuff I list in my collection as digital uh, because I don't want them to uh, falsely add value to my collection. Here's another burn game. You can tell by the case. But I did put them on printed, uh, printed DVDs. Um, I didn't want to add any value to the collection dollar-wise that wasn't genuine. So Batman Dark Tomorrow go it's another burn let's see Batman vengeance um, yep this is another burn yes I do have quite a few of them uh, Blackstone magic and steel I started out with burns just trying to figure out whether or not I was going to enjoy the game uh, and then some of these games uh, I plan on replacing with real copies eventually. Uh, blinks, yet another burn. You know, see they don't, that holographic part doesn't move or anything. It doesn't have catch the light. And then Blinks 2, yet another burn. And I do plan on replacing these white cases with green ones as well. Um, Call of Cthulhu. Another burn. And, uh, I, I can't say enough to actually TSOP flash your original Xboxes because those mechanical drives cannot last forever. Here's another burn. It's the Capcom Classics Collection Volume 2. Here we go with Conquer Live and Reloaded. Yes, it's another burn. And then we have Crimson Sea. It's another burn. And then we have a real copy of Crimson Skies. As you can tell, it has the manual and everything. Here is a burn of Crimson Skies so that I can play multiplayer and stuff. Um, Oh yeah, one of the other things. So, uh, I'm one of the people that have uh, decided to do this where it shows on the spine uh, which Xbox that it's actually, that the game is forward compatible with. So this one's original Xbox, Xbox 360, and the Xbox One. And here we have Dead or Alive 3. Uh, I got this game at launch with the system and got really good at it. Um, here is a burn. It is Dead or Alive Beach Volleyball, nude edition. And yes, it, this is the one that has the naughty patch. What can I say? I was a kid. Uh, Dragon's Lair 3D. This also is a burn. Um, I just, you know, can't find that game. And then another game that I'm having a hard time finding, Evil Dead, Fistful of Boomstick. 
this, yes, this is a burn. Another burn. These freaky flyers. Just can't seem to find a copy of the game. Here's a classic Fusion Frenzy. I had lots of fun with friends. Um, we would uh, consume adult beverages and play that game. Here's another burn, Gene Troopers. Really hard for me to find, just can't find it. Uh, Gun Valkyrie. Now this game, I think it borrows the same engine from Burning Rangers because uh, it, it plays so similarly to that. It's a really fun game though. And then we have Halo. And this is a real copy. Get that out of the way. And then we have Halo Game of the Year Edition. It's a real copy. And then we have this. We have this is the Ultimate Halo Companion DVD set. Um, this was a DVD that was released about Halo and Halo 2, and this exhibition and the Ultimate Halo. Yeah, I mean, it's, it was just a promotional DVD, and I wanted it, and so I got it. I think I got it back from Electronics Boutique or whoever it was back in the day. Halo 2, it's definitely a real copy. And then here is Halo 2 Multiplayer Map Pack. Oh, wow, with an old receipt. <laughs> um... And it actually has, like, the instruction manual. Though, um, I think this is, I think those are completed in, or um, come with the Master Chief Edition. Here's another burn, Metal Dungeon. You can tell that it's a burn, just because. Here's Metal Wolf, uh, that I did a burn of before I got it on the PlayStation 4. Outrun 2006 Coast to Coast. Sadly, this is a burn. I cannot find a copy of this for a decent price, and I just can't play pay that amount of money. Um, also, this manual is fake. Um, it's just basic printer paper that I went through and I organized the, the uh, manual I'd found online and stapled it together and printed it to the right size. MTV Music Generator 3. It's a real copy of the game. I, was, I used to be really into the MTV Music Generator, um, especially on the PlayStation 1. Here's the game that helped me soft mod my original Xboxes, uh, Mech Assault. This is the old version that still has the exploit where you can load in uh, some a save and boot, boot Linux and do all sorts of stuff. And this was the first step of me modding my consoles. and. Uh, being able to play Burns on the Xbox, and then eventually I TSOP flashed everything because I want my Xboxes to last forever. And next, Midnight Club 2. It's a real copy. And then we have Ninja Gaiden. It's a real copy. Panzer Dragoon Orta. Oops, it still has a bunch of the insert stuff. It's a real copy. Robotech Invasion. This is not a real copy. I wanted to experiment with this game before, or I wanted to try the game before I went, went out looking for it to buy it. And unfortunately, you just can't find it anymore. Samurai Showdown 5. And yes, this is a burn. Um, way too difficult for me to find for some reason. This one's interesting. It's Sega GT uh, 2002 and Jet Set Radio Future. And it's both on one disc. It's a real copy. And it comes with both books. And uh, for, from what I can tell, both books are like the original size of the books. We have Spider-Man. This is one of my... Uh, favorite Spider-Man games. I even have 
like a cheat sheet in here of like things that I printed off for codes and whatnot. Um, let's see. Now we have Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic. Uh, this game was infamous for destroying original Xboxes. And I think it's because they were just overheating from the game. Uh, it made me fearful for playing the game on the original Xbox and I stopped. Let's see. Now, here's the original Steel Battalion. Uh, this is the only copy that I have of the original Steel Battalion, despite me having two controllers. Uh, now, here is one and two copies of Line of Contact for Steel Battalion. They're both real. And another game that I just can't find at a good price, so I've made a burn of it, is Team Tit Teen Titans. And then Tony Hawk Pro Skater 2X, real copy. Then we have Unreal Championship 2. And then we have a burn of the Xbox Arcade. Um, just because it's hard to find that disc. But uh, that's pretty much the collection other than uh, I have another disc that is... Um, a controller tester disc and I don't really consider that a game but uh, have a great day guys well that's it for this episode of Mondane Designs I'm your host Mondane and I hope you enjoyed this episode as much as I enjoyed making it I have videos on the 1st and 15th of every month and look forward to sharing them with you. as always please like comment and subscribe and have a wonderful day